Hello and welcome to SA Archery TV, particularly those watching us from Namibia, Zambia, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden and Australia. Well, Joburg's erratic weather stopped play for an hour this morning as the rain poured down. So we used that time to get Sean Anderson into studio to chat to a couple of the young competitors. Mark, tell us, how are you finding the Nationals this year? It's a lot of fun. We are shooting, it's been raining now for quite a while. So it's you're shooting eliminations in the rain? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And Zondria, how do you find in the conditions of the rain today going into the elimination rounds? Well, well, I will only know when I shoot, but I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Do you have to do a lot of adjustments <laughs> to your bows to, and, and change a few things to, com, com, to have the compensation for the rain? No, no not much. No, not really. Not much. No. And tell me, are you, both of you have been represented our country overseas. Where was that? In America. In America, South Dakota. South Dakota. And how, how did it go that side? Great, uh, actually. She Great. got gold and I got gold. You so got gold and gold, eh? Yeah. That's the way, that's the way. Tell me, the other thing I want to find out from you is where, where are you looking, what, what, what's your plans for the future with Archie? Where are you looking to go further with Archie? To make it onto the, the senior team for the World Cups? I want uh. to um, be in a prettier team whenever I can and just have fun. And have fun. And you're saying that? Yeah. Mark, your whole family is shooting at the moment. Yeah. So dad's eliminating in the rain as we speak. Yeah. And how do you think it's going that side? Uh, he's shooting against Depa Biman. He's a very good archer. And my dad, he's doing his best. That's it. That's it. Tell me, Zuandri, um, you, you, what you call it, have just changed bows now. You've moved over to a new, to a new bow. Has that, has that given you any, any problems going on to a new bow so soon to nationals? No, not really. It actually helped me a lot. And you've learnt a lot from, from getting the coaching on the new bow and that as well? Yes. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm sitting with a youngster called Johan Wolsenacher, under 13 boys recurve limited. Johan, how's your nationals been this year? My nationals has been excellent. They always provide us with a good competition and the weather has been great up until today. Johan, tell us a bit about yourself. Where did you start with archery? I started with archery when I was four years old and I started competing when I was seven. And where's Archery taking you in the last couple of years? Archery has taken me all the way to Argentina a few years back and I've been uh, the reigning SA um, number one for three years. And goals, forward, goals going forward? My goals, my next goal is to go to the Youth Olympics, but otherwise after that I want to go to the Olympics. 2020 Olympics? Yes. That's a great goal to have. Johan, tell us the interaction between you and your fellow teammates. No, it's very well. It's nice to chat with the guys and everyone's nice and friendly to you. Tell me, do you say Archie is a good family sport as well? Yes, it's a really nice family sport. We have a lot of family shooting together, the whole family, moms and dads. And the situation with the rain today out there? No, with the, when it's rainy, you're, it's really hard to shoot. It's difficult, but it's also very fun. All right, now it's my turn to speak to some of the young competitors at this year's Nationals, and we're joined by Emily O'Neill. Thanks for coming through. Tell us, Emily, you started at the young age of eight. How have you developed over the past couple of years? Well, I've gone from recurve to compound, and compound's great, so I love it. Um, and also, scores obviously get better as you go. And I started getting my national colors in grade five, so, yeah. How's, been, uh, how's the competition been for you so far? It's good, it's good. Um, changed releases so now I have a back tension so I get really tired quickly but I'll get there. What about the weather? It's been a bit difficult hasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah definitely. The wind not so good but now because of the rain this morning it stopped the wind so that was nice. You're now 15, I mean where do you see this going for you in your future? Hopefully up <laughs> but yeah no, I'll carry on as long as I can. What advice do you have for those eight-year-olds who are sitting at home watching, wanting to join the sport? Go and find a club and start shooting. It's an awesome sport to get involved in. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for joining us here in studio. Now, Christopher, let's start with you. Currently leading in terms of the rankings. Uh, uh, yes. How have you done so far? I uh, know it's been going great. Uh, the weather conditions were perfect. I uh, don't think um, I could have shot any better. I put in my best. Just tell me about the difficulty in actually shooting in weather conditions like this. Well, I find um, with the wind that, that um, it often pushes my bow uh, off target. I battle to get back on. 
and uh, rain affects my sight markings. Okay, now Coco Mohammed, uh, tell me how's it been for you so far? It went well, uh, the sights are in, uh, arrows are in the right place, scores and things, well. When did you start in archery? I started in 2012. And what prompted you to actually get into something like this? Um, well, my dad went and he found a club and I went with him one June holidays and that's how I got started on archery. So both you guys, of course, looking at being uh, champions uh, at yes. the Nationals. Uh, what's your strategy for the rest of it? Um, I'm planning on just being confident, trust my equipment and focus. And you, Coco? Yeah, about the same, trust. And what advice would you have to other kids who are watching wanting to join the sport? Um, I would tell them it's a nice sport, um, they should come and join, it's really nice, keeps your mind and everything alive. Yeah. Now, you've got to be mentally prepared for archery. You're quite young, you're still in school. Mm. How do you get the time to actually do this, Kotha? Um, well, we practice every Monday and Wednesday at uh, the clubs and we have a range at home, so we practice almost every day. And you, Christopher? Um, School schedules are, are difficult. I'm trying to get around extramurals, but um, on Sunday, every I, I, I shoot for hours and hours just to get the uh, my muscle strength in play. All right, thanks very much for your time, guys, and thanks. good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Let's check in on what happened at the Nationals today. Day three of the SA Nationals. Weather conditions not so great. We had a bit of rain this morning and it looks like the rain's coming back this afternoon. I'm standing with the number one ranked recurve woman archer, Sandra Prinsloo. Sandra, tell me, how are you finding the conditions today? Conditions today are very good, same as yesterday, just a bit windy, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be good. So you're going into the eliminations again? Going into the eliminations again, Catherine Silla. Catherine Silla, and, are you, and a tough elimination? Mm, I wouldn't say tough, but we'll see how it goes. You see how it goes, yeah, huh? And, what, and, and hopes for, for, the, for the rest of the nationals? Well, I hope I do well. I hope I go to gold medal match and win the gold. And, and future plans in archery? Well, my future plans is to go to the Olympics in 2016 and uh, hopefully I would like to get a podium finish there, get a gold, silver or bronze. That sounds good. Sandra, tell me the, uh, the standards of the SA Nationals this year over last year. I think it's improved a lot. You know, a lot more men archers, a lot more lady archers as well, which I'm very impressed about. You know, it's just nice to see more people coming in to Thank Nationals you. and taking part. Thank you very much for your time and good luck for the rest of your Thanks tournament. Thank you very much. Just running to Karen Halter. 2012 Olympian from the London Olympics, ranked number two this year at the Nationals. Corin, how are you finding the Nationals this year? It's absolutely fantastic. I've had a bit of a time off, so I'm struggling a little bit personally, but um, it's a spectacular layout here. They've, the organizers have done fantastic stuff. It, yeah. it ranks among the best in the world, eh? No, absolutely. Absolutely. The and organization is great. Tell me, and, and, how, and you said you took a bit of time off, and how are you coming back into things now? Well, uh, Sean, I know you don't shoot a recurve. <laughs> um, recurve, you can't just jump on the bicycle. Uh, so um, I'm struggling a bit. I came back in January, um, but the form's there, and it's, I must just build on that. And plans are? Future plans? Well, there's Rio. You so, know, nothing prepares an Olympian for Olympics like the Olympics. Yeah. So I, um, that would be nice. We'll see how it goes. And how's it going with the ranking rounds today? The weather been a problem? Well, you know, I'm from Cape Town, so I'm actually wishing for the wind and the rain. So. Correct, that's correct. But, um, yeah, no, it makes, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's all fun, you know. It's, it's quite nice I'm having a different you, weather. It was great running into you once again, and I hope all the best for the rest of the tournament. Thanks very much, Sean. At the SA Nationals, currently with Calvin Hockley, an ex-Olympian from Beijing. Calvin, how are you finding the standards of our SA Nationals this year? It's a good standard. The quality of the field, it's all world class. And Calvin, tell me, I'm um, back into the swing of things with the bow again? Yeah, getting back into it slowly. And, and how are you finding being back in South Africa? It's nice, the weather's really good. It's a bit tricky this morning with the rain, but it's going well. And tell me, and, and future plans for archery for yourself? At the moment, I've got some major form restructure that I have to do, um, and we're busy doing that with my coach, and then after that, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Olympics maybe on the cards? Not this Olympics, but I'm not going to say never again. Uh, Calvin, tell us, uh, run us through, uh, how, did it, how did it feel um, seeing the, the quality of the archers that you've seen on the line at the moment? Uh, well, you find there's a lot more archers than your last nationals? That you yeah, since my last nationals three years ago, there's a lot more competition. 
better competition and like I said the standard of the field is like changed night and day. <laughs> 100%. Thanks for your time Calvin. Thank Enjoy you very the rest much. Of Stay tuned to see which four semi-finalists from each category will go through to the medal shoot-off tomorrow. For updated results, go to www.sana.org.za. That's it from me, Shahan Ramkisun. Take care.